when we went in. It's so beautiful. to get preggers if she does it in a car. Huh? Mm -hmm. I have a theory, too. My theory is about moments. Moments of impact. My theory is that these moments of impact, these flashes of high intensity that completely turn our lives upside down, actually end up defining who we are. I noticed, um, <laughs> in a totally non-threatening way, we have the same RPP zone. Is that right? Yep. 
Hmm. You have impressive powers of observation. Yes. What's in our PP zone? Residential permit parking zone. That um, sounds intimate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I was thinking is that I think we owe it to ourselves, really, to maybe get a drink out of respect for our zone compatibility and all. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. After you. Maybe a little. And it keeps on coming. How it keeps my heart back. How it keeps my heart That is so twisted. But totally romantic. So in love with you. It's insane. As you know, your wife's CT scan showed intracranial hemorrhaging. We purposely keep patients with traumatic brain injuries in a comatose state in order to calm their systems and allow the brain time to heal itself while the swelling subsides. And then we slowly wean them off it. Now, in severe The thing cases, is, we have to... each one of us is the sum total of every moment that we've ever experienced with all the people we've ever known. And it's these moments that become our history. Like our own personal greatest hits of memories that we play and replay in our minds over and over again. Aren't you hungry? Hey. Hi. What you doing? Uh, nothing. Really? Nope. What's that? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Food's ready. Look, if you keep feeding that flea bag, it's going to keep coming back. And I'm allergic. Like you claim to be allergic to cilantro? I can't stand cilantro. Exactly. But you're not allergic. Does anybody want strawberries I bought at the farmer's market? Buying groceries. Bad sign. What? And we all know what that means. I like her. She's like a mascot. Thanks, I think. I would rather have her than that ferret you tried to make us adopt. And she makes great coffee. Let's keep her. <laughs> Thank you. Have some. Thank you. Movie? I think you spelled movie wrong. No. <laughs> Told you. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have 
vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share the silence when they're not, to agree to disagree on red velvet cake, <laughs> and to live within the warmth of your heart, and always call it home. Well, you um, set the bar kind of high. <laughs> Did you write your vows on a menu? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I vow to fiercely love you in all your forms, now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. And always. Know in the deepest part of my soul that no matter what challenges might carry us apart, we will always find a way back to each other. To take each other as spouses forever. I do. <laughs> I, I do. And by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I. Security. <clears throat> I now pronounce you man and wife and best friend for lunch. <laughs> I think this one's, this one's coming along fine. I mean, look, I know it's not finished, but I'm already starting to see a mood. It's got like a, a darkening curtain thing happening there, and, and then a competing light element there. Mm -hmm. It's abstract, but I mean, I, I don't know. I kind of think it's already powerful. What? You totally love me. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I know, because this is my piece. And that's the scrap pile. Which I'm now saving. physical, mental, and every other kind of love. Don't crowd her. She's, she's gonna be a little groggy, so let's just 
Give her some space. Hey. It's so good to see you. Paige, it's okay. You're in the hospital. You were in a car accident. You hit your head, but you're okay. We just kept you asleep for a little while. How do you feel? Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, well, that's perfectly normal. I'll get you something for that. Does anyone else hurt, doctor? Uh, hey, you, you know who I am, right? Yeah. You're my doctor. Um. I'm your husband. You said things were very good. A brain injury isn't like a broken bone or laceration. Brains are much less predictable. Sometimes, due to the way the swelling tissue presses against the skull, it can cause some impairment. Some impairment? She doesn't remember me. Even though she's awake, the swelling can cause confusion or memory loss, erratic mood swings. What? But that's normal. So that's my theory, that these moments of impact define who we are. But what I never considered was what if one day you could no longer remember any of them? What are you up to? Sleeping. Right. I brought you some clothes. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of hungry. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I just wanted to verify a few things with you about me. About us. Great. So we're married. Yes. Yeah. And I have weird hair. I, I think that's taken a narrow view. But you said that these, it takes too long to straighten, and you'd rather use that time to work in your studio. My studio? What? Why do I have a studio? Uh, you're an artist. A sculptor. A really good one. Right now, you're working on four pieces for the Tribune Tower lobby. Which is huge. Everyone in town wanted that commission. But your show at the MCA's 12 by 12 was amazing. So you won it. What about my law degree? Uh, I don't have a law degree? I think you were a few credits shy. Last time I wanted to be an artist, I was in high school. I think you need to look at it like a win. Dramatic brain injury? It's a win? You're an idiot. If she doesn't remember who you are, then she doesn't remember all the stupid shit you ever did. You can start over, wipe the slate clean. I'm just worried if she doesn't remember you, how she can remember she's in love with you? What? I was frankly a little stunned she went for you the first time. If anything, you've become less attractive. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a great support system. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, though. What if she doesn't remember me? Then what? She's going to remember you. She's going to remember all of us. We're a family. Yeah, you're right. 
Excuse me. I'm looking for my wife, Paige Collins. She was right over here yesterday. Well, it looks like they moved her up to the VIP floor. That sounds expensive. It's a donor's wing. Let's go down here and take the elevator to the second floor and make a right. All right, thanks. Paige, your long-term memory recall is intact, and I'm very optimistic that the rest of your memory is going to improve with time. Mr. Collins, I'm so glad you're here. This is bizarre. Um, I'm Leo, Paige's husband. Do you know how disconcerting it was to hear secondhand that my daughter had been in the ICU for weeks and we hadn't been told? You should have called us. I'm sorry. You've never met my parents? I don't understand. Why, why haven't you met him? So, Doctor, now what is the next step? Uh, the sooner she settles back into her life, her normal routine, the better. And starting in a week or so, I'm going to recommend that Paige see a neuropsychologist. Okay. Whatever she needs. Therapies, specialists, I'll make sure she gets the best. Well, you'll come home where I can take care of you. Mom can make up your old room, and I can take some time off work. I don't mean to be disrespectful, because we really appreciate that. But you just heard Paige's doctor say that she needs to go back to her normal routine. Her life with me is her normal routine. Yes, but that's a life she doesn't remember. She will. That's what her doctor just got through saying. No, what she said was that maybe Paige will remember. Now, why not let her come home and recover with people that she knows? And loves. And we're only trying to do the best for Paige. Mom. That's interesting, because you haven't even asked her once. Well, no, but... What I well, really need is for everyone to just stop bickering. Listen, none of this needs to be decided right now. No. <laughs> I think you should all head home, get some rest. I'm sure everyone could use it. How is it that you're my husband and you've never met my family? You haven't spoken to them in years. Why would I, why would I ever stop speaking to my family? It all went down before we met. And w w we never talked about it? No, we did. So? Uh, for starters, you wanted to move into the city and go to the Art Institute. And your father insisted that you stay in law school. He has some pretty strict views on what you ought to be doing. Things just spiraled from there. Okay, look, what I remember is being in law school and being engaged to Jeremy. I, I, do, I don't know. <laughs> but... Paige. Okay, babe, babe. Just, just, it, the best thing to do at this point is to go back to your life with me. You heard what the doctor said. It's the best thing for your recovery. Okay, but I don't know you. And I'm just supposed to get in your car and go and, and live at your place? It's our place. Without any proof of us even being in love. Other than our marriage? People get married for all kinds of different reasons. <laughs> okay, like? Like, like for a green card. <laughs> I'm from Cincinnati. Do I keep a journal? Uh, no, not that I know of. I guess this is all I could find. Oh, it looks fine, honey. I mean, we're just going home, so... It's hard. Paige? I understand you're finally leaving us. Oh, yes, that's uh, what they tell me. So no driving until I give you the say-so. But other than that, I'm going to see you in four to six weeks. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor. Very Thank thing. you, doctor. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Wait, hold on. I got a voicemail. It's from before the accident. You said you wanted evidence. Okay, yeah, well, let's have a listen. Hey, baby. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still at my studio. I miss you so bad, my sculptures are starting to look like you. So, what are you doing later? I kind of need some Leo time, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, call me back. <laughs> Love you. I don't know. I guess in listening back 
to it. It doesn't exactly prove anything. No, no, it's, uh, it's cute. I mean, I sound, um, happy. Okay, look, think about it. You quit law school. You broke off your engagement and you moved into the city. Those were all choices that you made way before you even met me. I think that you owe it to yourself to honor those decisions, at least for right now. This is a mistake, Paige. I promise that I will take care of her. <laughs> Come home with me. Come home with me. I... We'll figure this out together. I guess I could just try it out to see if it would help my memory and mm -hmm. I could always come home if, if I change my mind. I married him. It must have been for some reason. A guarded endorsement. But I will take it. Every day at the hospital, but uh, Leo didn't want us to overwhelm you. Yeah, they were every day. We really miss you. I gather we're we're close. I'm Sonia. <laughs> and this is my boyfriend Kyle. Hey, Paige. And uh, this is Jim. You look great, Paige. Uh, and Lily. Hey, what were you like working out at the hospital? Hey, Paige. And Josh. I uh, sorry. I excuse me. Thank you for coming. Sorry it ended early. It's all right. Take care, Take in. No. A lot to take in would have been coming home to a strange apartment with a man I don't know. That would be a lot to take in. But coming home to all of that, plus a house full of people pulling on me and hugging me and crying in my face and talking about more shit that I don't remember, that's not a lot to take in. That's total bullshit. You're right. There's only supposed to be a few people. Will you okay. please just get out? Paige, I I'm sorry. Are you honestly not going to leave me alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course. I'm sorry.
Oh, my mother's gonna kill me. You didn't knock. I, 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 it's habit. I'm sorry. It's not like you haven't seen it before. Come on. <laughs> this is not funny. Um, you should knock. I'm sorry. about the only piece of my clothing I feel comfortable in. That's mine, actually. Oh. No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> what? Huh? Well, you're looking at me like I'm some kind of zoo animal. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this out, too, I guess. You normally do all this? This is my apology for last night. That was such a bonehead mood. I just wasn't thinking. No, please, I'm sorry. I... I don't want you to worry about me, okay? Just go about your normal routine and... Do you work? Do you have a job? <laughs> yeah, well, that's if I'm still in business. I own a recording studio. Cool. So, uh, what what is my routine? What do I what do I do all day? Well, we usually get up and make coffee. All right. But no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I did it this morning. That's it. Um, and then you. Oh no! Don't. I, that one's for me. You don't eat meat. Oh. Then you check emails and pay bills. Okay. Which I'm betting that you don't remember any of the past words or account numbers, huh? Mm-mm. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> and then you go down to your studio. I can take you down there, show you what you're working on. Um, you know what? We don't have to rehash everything right now. I mean, just you go, go to work and we, we can make flashcards later. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, all right, well, you look, you got keys, phone here. If you need me, all my numbers are on there. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Have a good day. What's up, Lil? Hey. Fill me in. That guy pointy shoes, he's a really bad kisser. I don't think I'm gonna keep him in rotation. <laughs> okay. Honestly, though, it's actually been hell. Yesterday, we were somehow double booked. Too many clients, that's a, that's a high class problem. Yeah, but with only one studio, it's pretty impossible to take on both gigs, right? So Dune Advertising weren't flexible and they rebooked over at Soundspace. Wait, wait what? C come on, that's a, that's a big account. They, got, they, they should always be prioritized. You know that. Yeah, look, I, I can't run the sessions and handle account services, right? This isn't a one-woman operation. Look, it's not like I flicked or something. Okay, I know, I get it. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just saying shit's slipping. Well, I'm, I'm here now. <sighs> How's she doing? Just getting there. <laughs> He's, uh... Look, thanks. It'll be fine. Okay. 
Good. So you'll be at the 3.30 pitch? Of course. I'm gonna head home and change and check on Paige, but I'll be there. Okay. I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share the silence when they're not. To agree, to disagree on red velvet cake. <laughs> and to live within the warmth of your heart and always call it home. Did you write your vows on a menu? <laughs> Weird. I vow to fiercely love you in all your forms, now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. And to always know in the deepest part of my soul, no matter what challenges might carry us apart, that we'll always find a way back to each other. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, uh, could I have a... One of these? You don't want the usual. I have a usual? That would be perfect. I'll have the usual. Hello? Oh, uh, hey, Lou. No, I know, I know it's 3 30. Look, I can't. I, I can't. I gotta, I gotta find Paige. No, no. I, I don't know. Make it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know who else to call. Gideon, sweetheart. Starting to get a little worried. Thought something might happen to you. Sorry, I was lost. Physically. Mentally, I guess, as well. Well, you should have called me. Yeah, um, I forgot the phone and I, I don't know your number by heart, so I called my mom and uh, we made a day of it, which was great. She invited us for dinner tonight. D dinner? Okay, uh, okay. Um, you don't have to go. Well, you're not allowed to drive, so I do have to go. But that's not the point. You know, maybe I'm going to wake up tomorrow and remember everything. But right now, they're the only thing I'm sure about. Okay. We'll go. Okay. Okay. You going to change? Mm hmm. Magic. It's just a left up here at the Caldwells, and then a right at the cul de sac, and we're six houses in on the right. Oh, the Presley's got a new mailbox. So cute. You know, this arrangement doesn't exactly say I'm sorry that we haven't spoken, but now that I have a brain injury, maybe you can overlook it. You're right. We should have got him forget me not. That's funny. Well, actually, that is funny. 
So, uh, well, you've already met my parents, but my dad will say to call him Bill, but just he prefers Mr. Thornton. And my sister's name is... Gwen. I know a lot about your family, Paige. Right, yeah. We're married, you know. <laughs> God, you're engaged. I know. <laughs> wow. Oh, you guys make a really cute couple. Oh, thanks, Paige. Wow. Oh, it has been forever. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> the weird thing is, everyone looks a little bit older. Really? Yeah, you especially. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have you back. Voila. In honor of Paige being home, I made your favorite dinner. Filet mignon. Oh, please, please, sit down. Before we start, I think this evening deserves a toast, darling. Well, I would, I would like to drink to my family. I am so fortunate to have these three beautiful women in my life, and when we're all together, that fortune just multiplies. Paige, honey, welcome home. To family. To family. <laughs> so, Leo, what about your family? Do you see them often? Uh, no. Oh, that's a shame. Both of my parents are, are dead. It's just Paige. Mm. She's my family now. And, uh, what kind of work do you do, Leo? I just opened up my own recording studio downtown. Paige actually convinced me to turn it into a business. I did? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that sort of a dying field? No, I just, I just mean, can't people record things on their computers at home and they sound just as good? Ryan. <laughs> what? Look, the, the records that I like, they have life and warmth and, and soul. Like, like the slapback on Scotty Moore's guitar on Mystery Train. Um, it, you, look, you're not going to get that in your computer. You're going to want a live room. You're going to want to bounce the tape. You're going to want real musicians in a room vibing off of each other. <laughs> you, I guess to, to answer your question, it may be a dying field. And um, you can record high-quality stuff uh, at home. But, I mean, come on. You can't get the sun sessions on your laptop. Wow. 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 So I heard everyone is going to be here tonight. This kind of thing might be a little too much for Paige. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good here, actually. Isn't that Diane Chain? Huh? Yeah, uh, we don't really hang out anymore. God, you have been away a long time. Look, man. Dad, hi. 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 Uh, sorry, Leo. These are my friends from high school. This is Shanna, Carrie, Lisbeth. Hi. What about me? I don't get an introduction. Hi. Hi. <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is Jeremy. It's been a long time. Has it? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. You haven't changed a bit. I'm not, I'm not sure she mentioned it. Um, Leo. Hi. Paige's husband. Right. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink. You guys want anything? Uh, does it run a sour? I'll have a blueberry mojito. Really? Yes, I remember. Oh my God, Paige, do you remember when we were in the ninth grade and we were getting ready for the Christmas dance? Oh and we were curling your hair and ended up burning off like half your I hair. Remember? So I totally remember that. <laughs> and did I wind up wearing a beret to the dance? No, no, no. That was It's like she was some sweater set wearing mojito drinking sorority girl. Like a Stepford wife? Yeah, basically. She was even flirting with Jeremy right in front of me. Ex fiance Jeremy? Oh, no, no, no. In her mind, it's current fiance Jeremy. Which is why it was probably pretty annoying to have her 
Stranger husband cock blocker all night. That is a lot to get my mind around. So, what turns her on? Paige? No, her mother. Yes, Paige. You like in bed? Oh my god, Leo. What? It's private. It's, it, I don't know. It's, it's kind of between me and her kind hey, of thing. I'm not gonna judge. She likes being tickled. Seriously? Wow, thought you weren't gonna judge. I'm not. I'm just, uh, I don't care if you're into kink. It's not like that. <laughs> it just breaks her down when she's stuck in her head. Okay. You should give that a shot. Seriously. Yeah, what do you have to lose? Because I've been dealing with these people forever, and I know they have... Um, something important just, uh, popped up. I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. Hi. Hi. Please. So, you remember... That time at the lake, when you told me you'd always have my back, no matter what. The night in the boathouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So can you please tell me what went down with us? Only you, Paige, can dump a guy and come back and demand answers. So I dumped you? A cruel, hard, pre-wedding dumping. Why? Well, that's a question that I and all of my friends and the two rebound girls, yeah, we'd all have an answer to. Come on, seriously, I must have, I must have had some kind of reason. You, you, you changed. You talk differently, you dress differently, you weren't sure about law school anymore, and you definitely weren't sure about me anymore. Did I give you your ring back? Yeah, you did. Who has that now? No one yet. Um, but I've been with Rose. You remember from Gwen's class? I've been with Rose for about a year now. I couldn't wait forever, Paige. You couldn't have anticipated that I'd have a brain trauma and forget our breakup and come waltzing into your office demanding answers? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna let you go back to work. Sure. Hey. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I was not expecting that. I honestly didn't even know where I was headed until I found myself here. It just seems so ridiculous to me that I shut everyone out for five years. It just doesn't feel right. here. <laughs> no problem. Are you collaging? Do I collage? <laughs> no, not that I remember. No, I, you know, I was just so inspired just, you know, seeing everybody last night. To collage? All those memories just came flooding back to me, so I thought I'd make a timeline, you know, of my life. That's, that's great. That's a great idea. Yeah. I kind of rummaged through some of your stuff. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> it's 
fine. It's fine. What's mine is yours. I even have a certificate from the state of Illinois to prove it. Yes, I found that. It's in the lost years. See, I started over here. You know, I found some family photos, me when I was little, stuff like that. That was easy to put into chronological order because I remember that stuff. Well, that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But what I've been trying to do is pinpoint the last memory I had before everything just went blank. How's that going? I think I was at the macaroni grill and I was asking them if they had those special toasted ravioli. And I don't, I don't remember the answer. That's it. That's all. That's my last memory before I woke up in a hospital. Oh, no. How are we ever going to know if they had toasted ravioli? <laughs> oh, God, this is not happening. It's okay. It's not happening. Okay? No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Come on. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Was that... That was one of our things? Yeah, kind of. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You don't have to say it. You, you don't. It, it, I get it. It'll all come back. We just have to keep doing what we're doing. Let you fall back into your life. It'll all sort itself out. I think I'm ready to see my studio now. Will you show it to me? Yeah, come on. This is the first studio you've ever had to yourself. Space, huh? Wow. Uh... You weren't sure you liked it at first, though. Until you had this idea to burn some smudge stick that you bought from some guy on the corner of diversity. <laughs> we lit this thing and we started waving it around until we realized that it was just some old pieces of lettuce. So we're waving around burning lettuce. I don't know. But it must have done the trick, though, because after that, I couldn't get you out of here. You would come in and crank your music, and you'd get lost in a project, and I'd have to come and remind you that it was nighttime. This is one of your pieces for the Tribune Tower series. What is it supposed to be? I'm not sure if you even knew yet. But come here. I... Here, just help it figure out what it wants to be. Okay. I don't. I don't really know how to use this thing. Sure you do. Wait, hold on. Can we just um, turn down the music, please? I swear you used to, used to listen to it so much louder than this. I never could understand how you would just be able to focus like that. It's a clinically bad goddamn headache. Please turn down the music. I'm trying to help you. But I'm not your punching bag. We don't speak to each other like this. This is hard for me too, Paige.
Kate? Ja? Hey. Hey. I passed by that little Portuguese bakery that you love on the way home. And I got us some, uh... Somebody here? Yeah. Leal? You know, my sister's just up to her eyeballs with this wedding stuff, and we've got the engagement party coming up. And we all thought the page could come home and uh, help her out. It just seems like the right thing to do, to be there for Gwen. Okay, but what about your life here? What about all the work that you haven't finished? I talked to the people at the Tribune, and, and they were really understanding about the accident, and Dad's gonna loan me the money to pay back their advance, so... I don't know. I just, I can't do it. You just come out when you're ready, honey. I'm sorry, it's just until after the wedding. I just want you to be careful, okay? Well, I'm not joining a cult. I'm just going to stay with my family. I know, but... But what? Can I at least give you an awkward hug? So, how are you feeling? Mm, I feel fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No dizziness, disorientation, sleepiness? Mm, no. Great. Well, I'm very happy. And your CT scan looks excellent. Oh. <laughs> what a relief. Well, so, uh, your memory recall anything? Not really. No, huh? That's not normal, is it? Listen, when it comes to the brain, nothing is normal. Because no two brain injuries are the same. Paige seems perfectly herself again. It's wonderful. <laughs> Mrs. Sorkin, could I just talk to Paige alone for a moment, please? It's okay, Mom. I'm... I'm good. All right. Thanks. Paige, do you want to regain your memory? Yes. Because some patients fear that when their memory comes back, so will the memory of the trauma. But mercifully, that's rarely the case. Oh, no, that's not it. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of the accident. So what are you afraid of? Uh, I guess I just... I don't know. It's... I mean, what if I don't like the life that I had? Or what if I like it too much? I, I just don't know. I only did one psych rotation, so this may be terrible advice. But I think you have to try and fill the holes. You can still decide you want a different life. But if you don't at least open yourself up to remembering, I'm afraid you're going to live in fear of your own past. Hey, I'm here. These guys are? Knife skills with the Z. Right. Okay, Mikey, sounds amazing. Let's uh let's just go for it. I am going for it. The bass line is one note. It's one note. Okay, cool. Uh take two. Wow. You look different. Yeah. Uh going for a Kanye kind of thing. I'm gonna say more Michael Buble, but whatever, it's still good. So, I'm going to be in and out for a while. Sounds really good, Mikey. Uh, let's just take it from the top or the middle or wherever. You know what? People come here to work with you, okay? I mean, I'm doing my best, but you got to be here. I know. Paige is in Lake Forest with her family. That's where I got to be. I got to make my wife fall in love with me again. Oh, you found each other. Hi! Hi, let's see it. Oh. Let's see it. Oh. 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 
All right, take it easy. Countdown's on, man. Hey, man. <laughs> One week left of your former life. How you feeling? I, I feel pretty good, actually. I mean, I, I do get a little dizzy if I think about it for too long. What? No, honey, it's like a good dizzy. It's like... It's like panic. Or excitement. Well, panic and excitement are different. Honey, there's gonna be like 400 people there. Right. Hey, do you also have a little tingling in your fingers? Yeah. Is that, is that bad? Do you listen to Radiohead? Uh-huh. Tom York, he talks about dizzy spells all the time. He says when his fingers tingle, that's how he knows that he's creating something genius. And then he gets so amped up playing that he almost passes out. Ryan, it sounds to me like you're on the verge of genius. It's cool, man. Oh, Ryan, I have someone hey, I want wow. you to meet. You listen to radio? <laughs> so is that true? Mm. Paige? Hey, Leo. Uh. What? Your hair. It looks so different. You look beautiful. Thank you. Okay, look, so I, I've been thinking about something. Okay. What's your favorite book? Uh... It's probably not what you remember. That's fine. That's, that's not the point. Okay. The Beach House by James Patterson. No, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Beach House. Okay, if it was great, you probably loaned it to somebody, right? Uh, yeah. Gwen, I think. Okay, and you probably said to yourself, God, I wish I was the person that hadn't read it so that I could experience it all over again. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's how I think we should look at this. Uh, what? You can't remember how we met. Mm -hmm. And you can't remember how we fell in love. And in a way, yeah, that, that sucks. But it was the greatest time in my life. And I just thought how cool it would be to get to experience it all over again. Like reading your favorite book for the first time. Exactly. Gotcha. Which is why I want to ask you out on a date. Uh, a date. Like two people that are just meeting for the first time. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, we've got the wedding coming up. But if we go out before then, you might still be able to take me as your date. I, ca I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah? A date. <laughs> So, I have an idea, but it involves going into the city. Is you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. I just have to be back by 10 in the morning. Oh, my God. What? First date, and you're already inviting yourself to stay the night? What? I don't know. I'm just a little scandalized. So... No, I just meant... Boy, I'll have you, have you back tonight. I mean, if you if you want to stay the night, that's... I mean, it's, if you want... You want to just see how it goes? Or... <laughs> Should we get out? We don't have to. This is the part of the date where I find out you're not actually my husband, but some crazy stalker, and you're gonna strangle me with my purse? Oh, this is the exact parking spot where we first met. Oh. I'm gonna take you on a little retrospective of us. You ready for dessert? Dessert? Hmm? You just have waffles. Mm-hmm. This is dinner. These are dessert. Well, how do you know what flavors they all are? It's like a chocolate Russian roulette. It's part of the fun. We'd be surprised by the ones that we liked and the ones that we didn't. Okay. And... 
You don't like it? We do not like that one. You try this one, I think you like this one. Oh. Mm. Hold you. Okay. Your turn. Are we doing chop chop? <laughs> Wait till you try that hot chocolate. We come here when it's snowed. Are you trying to make me diabetic or just fat? No. So we come down here at night and look at the lake? That's not exactly what we do. Um, I, uh, I'm not, I don't <laughs> no, know. No, it's not that. We said that we would go in once a month, every month, and we haven't done April yet. We started in July. Uh... Why? Why would we do that? We were at this spaghetti place, and we had this waiter, and he said he did it. And he was like 80, so we thought we could. Yeah. Now we said no wetsuits, but... I'm serious. For you, I guess I'll make an exception. <sighs> All right. Turn around. Turn around! are still numb. I've missed you. I miss our life together. I miss being with you. I love you. Hey. Hey. I didn't know you were going to be here. Were 
Were you out with Jeremy? No. I was with Leo. I like him. <laughs> yeah. Me too. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> um. I've never seen you like this before. I mean, is this crying thing the new you? Because it's bizarre. I don't know. I don't know what's me. I have a tattoo. Oh. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> it was just like it used to be. It was better, actually. Everything that I, that I fell in love with about Paige is still there. You know... To you, I'm sure it seemed like a confirmation of your love or your marriage, right? But to her, it probably seemed more like a, a really good first date. Exactly, which is why I think you gotta wait the requisite three days before you call. I gotta wait three days to call after a date with my whole wife? At least. This is a unique case. Maybe longer. It, it can't be longer. I'm gonna see her on Saturday at the wedding. I'm telling you, it was so obvious. Even with all this crazy shit going on around us, we still belong together. Obvious to her or to you? To both of us. Oh, oh, Paige. Yeah. We have to start writing out those the place cards. cards. Yes. yes. Before we start on that, I have a little surprise for you, Paige. No. <laughs> you know Ray Porter, right? He taught constitutional law at Northwestern. He and I were a law review together. We've known each other a thousand years. Well, he is the dean of the law school now. Okay. And they're going to let you back in. What? Well, I, I didn't even apply. I took care of it. This is, uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm getting a free do-over in life. Look like you could use a drink. Uh, <laughs> I've already had some. You haven't had this. <laughs> I'm glad we're having a moment alone. I haven't gotten a chance to really talk to you, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Congratulations. That's nice. Yes, it is. I've been thinking. And I think that it's probably time to let us take it from here. Take what? Things with Paige. Look, I know she didn't have health insurance because you chose to live in a certain way. And I know you must be drowning in debt. I also know a way out of this. What's that? divorce her. The bills have only just begun, Leo. Mr. Thornton, I don't think this is the time or the place to discuss this. Fine. You don't care about losing your business, which clearly you don't. 
What about Paige? What about doing what is obviously the right thing for her? And you know what's right for her. As a matter of fact, I do. You're such a hypocrite. What did you say? If you're such a family man, how come I'm, I never once saw you come and try to put things back together with Paige? You're such a coward. Can I introduce you around a little bit? Can't feel good to be the odd man out. I'm not the odd man out. All right. You say so. You just seem a little creepy over here all by yourself. I'm just waiting for Paige, man. All right, well, best of luck with that. You like this, right? I'm sorry, like what? Paige leaves you behind. She goes and has this life without you with some guy that no one gets. And now you get to see her reject all that. I mean, I like it a little bit. <laughs> yeah? Let me tell you what I like. I like the fact that Paige told me everything about you, Jeremy. Okay. She told me that when she was with you, she would wake up at night in a panic, thinking, is this all there is? Wow. She told you everything, huh? Mm hmm Did she tell you that she threw herself at me the other day? Did she tell you that? Or did she stop telling you everything when she forgot who the hell you were? Look, I get why you're being such a dick. You obviously love her, and you think you're gonna get her back. But the thing is, she outgrew you. What makes you think that won't happen again? Thank you for that advice. I will mull it over while I'm in bed with your wife. <clears throat> Leo! Paige, wait! What the hell were you thinking? I don't know, that's a really good question because I've been driving myself insane, making a complete ass of myself. Try, literally trying everything possible to try to save what we have. And you've been throwing yourself at Jeremy. That's not fair. It's not fair. I see the way you look at him. I know because you used to look at me that way. Leo, no, I... I think we just need to start being realistic. Your memory's not coming back. The fact is that I'm still just a stranger. I'm not trying to hurt you. But I'm just... I'm so tired of disappointing you. I know. I'm so sorry. I apologize to Gwen and Ryan. Oh, God, no, it's fine. Wedding disasters have a way of turning into great stories. Eventually. <laughs> How do you look at the girl you love and tell yourself it's time to walk away? One day I can love the way that you love me. You figured it out once. You'll do it again.
shit. You're here, not there. Are you okay? I'm done. It's over. I give up. Well, you never give up, Leo. No, if, if we were meant to be together, we would be together. I was just thinking about the first time that we went to that, that Greek restaurant in the corner. There was this big banner that said, now serving soup. And I just started to go on and on about <laughs> all the obstacles that the, that the owner must have overcome to achieve his lifelong dream of serving soup. <laughs> and then and when I was finished, she didn't say anything for a few seconds. And she just... She just sort of exhaled it. It was almost to herself. I love you. And it just hung there. It was the first time she had said it. And I didn't even want to respond. I just, I just wanted to keep hearing it. It was two weeks after we met. It only took her two weeks to fall in love with me before. She doesn't love me. away for a while I never had a chance to apologize I was just going through a really weird time but um, your dad ended it as soon as your mother confronted him about us I just always wanted you to know that I don't mean to open old wounds but um, I just really needed to say that um, I'm sorry no I'm really glad that you said something you were always a really good friend. I just wish I could have returned the favor. The lilies were bad, so I got some flowers instead. I wanted to tell you. You knew. You knew the whole time. I'm sorry, I don't talk. Paige. 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 Hey, where have you been all day, stranger? Hmm? Paige? I ran into Diane Chain at the store. That's why I left, isn't it? Because I found out. Mom, I barely even know who I am. And then it turns out you're lying to me. And you've used my accident 
to, to, to rewrite the past? I couldn't bear the thought of losing you again. Do you have any idea how betrayed I feel right now? I'm sorry, Paige. We were happier than we'd been in years. Oh, Mom! We finally had you back again. Back on your terms! No! Yes, as usual! Paige! He cheated on you with my friend! How could you stay with him? I was going to leave. I was. I was all ready to leave. And then one afternoon, I was all alone in the house. And I started looking at all the photographs of you and your... and your sister. And the house seemed so full of all of us. We were a family, Paige. And I realized in that moment that that was the most important thing in the world for me. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not go. So you just wasped it away? No. I chose to stay with him for all the things that he had done right. And not to leave him for the one thing that he had done wrong. I chose to forgive him. Maybe Leo was right. Maybe I can't figure out who I am and be around all of you. Sorry. Is everything okay? Uh, oh. Look, you two obviously need to talk, so I'm just... Okay. I'll talk to you later. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? Can I ask you something? Yeah. You can always ask me anything. Did you know about my dad's affair? Yeah. I knew. Why didn't you tell me? There were so many times that I almost did. But to drive you away from your family again? It just felt wrong. I wanted your love. I... Just not like that. I wanted to earn it. afford to lose them right now. So don't. Certain parties have sought to nullify various congressional acts, claiming that repeated extensions of copyright protection constitute a perpetual copyright of the sort the drafters of the Constitution would have rejected. The United States Supreme Court Actually, there's something that I wanted to tell you. Okay. Things are over with, with Rose. I ended the page. No. Why did you do that? I, 
I thought you were getting engaged. Well, we were, but that was before you. No, that was after me. Okay, it was after you, but it was before this you. It was before the old you came back. Jeremy, I'm not the old me. I'm just me. I'm just the me that's trying to figure it out still. I understand. Whichever it is, the old you or the new you, I don't care. I know you remember what we were like together. I know you do, and this is our chance to get that back. What we had was wonderful. Those were wonderful memories, but those were, those are my only memories. Everything after you is erased. I, I have to discover what it's like to be without you. On my own. Are you sure you don't remember breaking up with me the first time? Why? Because it sounded a hell of a lot like that. Let's go. Hey. I was looking all over. I was worried when I didn't see you outside the library. So. How's that intellectual property class going? Um, actually, I want to talk to you about that. I've decided to leave law school. And I'm going to get an apartment in the city. It's happening all over again, isn't it? Damn it, Paige. <laughs> I've made a lot of mistakes. Dad, this isn't about you or anything you've done. This is about me. Who I want to be. Who I am. Just tell me what to say so I don't lose you again. You won't. for change has ripple effects far beyond what we can predict. Sending some particles crashing together. <laughs> making them closer than before. While sending others spinning off into great ventures. Landing where you've never thought you'd find them. You see, that's that's the thing about moments like these. You can't. No matter how hard you try, control how they're gonna affect you. You've just gotta let the colliding particles land where they may. And wait. Until the next collision. I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share the silence when they're not, to agree to disagree on red velvet cake, and to live within the warmth of your heart and always call it home. you 
didn't come all the way into the city for hot chocolate. Actually, I moved back here six months ago. I'm over in Rogers Park. Really? That... That's great. I'm actually back at the Art Institute. What? Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting in on a few classes, and I mean, it's it's crazy what my, my hands remember that my, you know, that my mind forgot. Yeah. So thank you. I didn't do anything. You did everything. You accepted me for who I am and not for what you wanted me to be. <laughs> I just wanted you to be happy. That's all. Um, isn't there some Cuban place around here where we used to go when this place was closed? Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, wait. You remember? No, no. <sighs> I wish. <laughs> no, the memory stuff is, hasn't come back, but I... Sonia and I have been hanging out a little bit, and um, I've been asking her about us. Really? And, and what has she been saying? That she doesn't think you're seeing anyone right now. She just happens to be right. You? Are you, uh, seeing anyone? It's good. So, do you want to go to the Cuban place? With me? Okay. Okay. What would you say to try in some place that we haven't been to before? Some place new. I like that. After you.